I would now like to introduce our presenter, Sharon Justice. Sharon has worked for over 25 years in various industry sectors, focused on strategically growing businesses while equipping leaders and individuals for success. Sharon joined the faculty of the College of Business at East Carolina University in 2011, where she developed and is currently teaching a leadership course for junior business majors. She continues to offer customized leadership development programs and provide strategic business consulting through the Justice Leadership. Prior to joining the university, Sharon spent her career focused in human resources and achieved the title of Senior Vice President with Wells Fargo. Sharon holds several specialized certifications. Now I'll turn it over to Sharon. Thank you, Keisha. Good afternoon or good morning, depending on where you're joining us from. Uh, today we are going to spend our time talking about preparing for the interview. And as I see how many have joined this webinar, it seems to be a popular topic. Preparing for an interview is uh, sometimes a difficult or daunting task, and especially if you haven't interviewed in a while, sometimes we can wonder where to start. Well, I hope that the tools and the techniques that we go through today will help you feel much more prepared and ready for that interview. <clears throat> So as we get started today, I want you to think about um, how do you do your homework? You've got to explore the employer. Which institution uh, are you seeking to um, interview with? Where have you applied? Who will you be interviewing with? Is it one interviewer? Is it a panel? Is it a group? Is it virtual? Will it be on the phone? And so there's all types of these questions that you need to answer as you prepare and get ready for the interview. And then once you've figured out the format, the who, the, the person, the, the employer that you're interviewing with, then you start to dig into what kind of interview questions do you need to be prepared for? And how do you assess the culture of that organization? Because remember, you are being interviewed for a position but you're also interviewing the organization to see how well you might fit into their culture, their job, and bring your experience to them. So interviewing is a two-way street, and, uh, and you need to be prepared for that. So the first thing that you do, of course, these days is you just Google it, um, search online. So look at the website, look at um, any online presence, press releases, things that are in the um, that are in the news. Um, even today I got an update on a particular institution that had just hired a new president and it was precedent setting because of the candidate and bringing the diversity factor and so there was a whole article today in the Wall Street Journal. Um, set up job alerts or news alerts or Google alerts um, from your particular institution that you're applying for and be sure that you have read and that you know what's happening uh, in the news around that institution. The worst thing that can happen is that you walk into an institution, you're in that interview and something has just happened um, in the news, maybe a, a praise, an accolade, uh, a success story, or maybe something not so positive and you not be aware of it and it comes up in conversation. This allows you to show that you've done your research and done your homework without it being forced. Also search LinkedIn. Find the people that you're going to be talking to and snoop them out. They're going to be snooping you out. Uh, so you do your reverse homework and see if you can locate information about the institution, about the department, and about the people. Um, look at the alums if you want to. Each institution, or at least most institutions, have a, a filter uh, that allows you to search out the institution, read about it, uh, and then see who their alumni are. So LinkedIn is a really fun tool to look into the organization that you're applying for. And then, of course, um, look on social media. What is happening? Uh, I know it, particularly at our university, there is a huge social media stream every day with what's happening uh, at the institution. So make sure you find what their uh, hashtags are, what their institution pages are, and, and do your homework so you know what the culture is, what the environment is, and what might be happening in that organization. Now here's some other ways that you get to know the employer. You're answering these questions before you go into 
the interview. What is the mission of the college or the university? And the mission is at the top, but it's also in your department. Uh, what do they specialize in? Do they have some unique professional programs? Are they part of a larger state system? Um, what is the Hallmark program that they're known for? What makes them different from other institutions? Um, dig into their student affairs and their academic affairs. Uh, dig into the athletics, um, the alumni. Again, have they been in the news lately? And then be able to speak to all of these things so that uh, if you can bring it up in conversation, it demonstrates you've done your homework. If they bring it up in conversation, and you're able to speak to it, it demonstrates that you've done your homework. And so this is part of understanding the context of the organization. And I can't underestimate the value and the power of doing this type of due diligence. <clears throat> There's some other ways that you can do homework as well. And you may or may not have seen these. Most people are familiar with Indeed. Some people are familiar with Glassdoor and a fewer of you may or may not be familiar with Vault. There are a number of these types of tools. Vault is a more corporate looking overview of an organization and some institutions are out there. Some uh, universities and colleges are listed, some are not. Some have a little bit of information, some have a lot. Uh, so you may or may not find information there. Glassdoor is a great resource for you to dig into. Um, it's not just where jobs are posted and I'll show you in just a minute some of the things that you can learn on Glassdoor and indeed is the same thing. You can learn where jobs are posted but you can get a little bit of feedback from the community. So this is an example of the insight that Glassdoor offers. I've just taken a screenshot from my university. It's a little bit dated but it was easy and I could get all the information on a screen. Um, You'll also notice in Glassdoor that things don't really disappear. So you could have a history, for example, this administrative support specialist, um, it's dated uh, 2017, but it captures all of that data and the history so that you've got some uh, more than one snapshot of what's going on. So you'll see at the top, there are reviews on this particular institution, there are jobs posted, there's salary information posted, there's interview information posted, and then there's some other overview about benefits and then just some photos. So what I want us to focus on though is the interview information. Glassdoor is a crowdsourced uh, pool of information. And as an HR professional, <clears throat> what I appreciated about Glassdoor was that yes, it is crowdsourced and so I could get a feel for what my job applicants are saying about my organization and you know the downside is as an HR professional I couldn't get rid of it so it's there so the good the bad the ugly the fantastic as an applicant you do get a sense for uh, what's happening in that organization take it with a grain of salt uh, but Glassdoor, in order to view, it'll ask you to create a free account and then after so many views, it's going to say, I want you to complete a review on this company. Have you ever interviewed? Uh, what do they ask you? And so it does a little bit of force entry, which creates some pretty robust crowdsourced information and it's not just negative where people are sounding off or spouting off. So in this particular one, it tells you um, it'll be red, green, or yellow. This one, they accepted an offer. It was a positive experience, and it was an average interview. Uh, how they applied, the interview, the time frame, the process. You can see this one was very lengthy. Um, it was conducted by a three-person panel. It required two separate interviews. They were friendly. They were professional, and overall, the process went well. And then you'll start to see at the bottom, what are your strengths and weaknesses? Uh, you can find out other questions that were asked in this particular interview or about this particular institution. This is a phenomenal resource for you to get a general idea of what to expect in an interview. And again, depending on the size of the institution, you may get a little information, you may get a tremendous amount of information. Um, so with our institution at East Carolina University, there are 387 reviews, there were 555 jobs. Uh, so there's information out there. There were only 52 interview questions um, or interview responses given. So uh, it just depends on the size of your institution.